Wow, I never knew that. So she was almost decapitated. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ellie Arquette. I am a psychic medium, a life coach, and founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics. Please subscribe, share, and like. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I don't have a regular schedule right now. I'm juggling between four channels and clients and my cosmetic line, so it's a little bit hectic. Um, and if you guys need to book a session with me, please go to elliarquette.com. Uh, if you need a psychic reading or mediumship reading, and or if you want to come to me for life coaching, if you guys want to purchase my beautiful makeup and skincare line, please go to elliarquettecosmetics.com. And basically when you go to the website, it'll say uh, book a session here. You'll click on that. It'll take you to the page where all the prices, pricing and everything is. And if you guys want to purchase the products, when you go to elliarquettecosmetics.com, you, you land on the page and it'll say, shop here and you just click it's so easy but i still get emails about it so i don't know if you guys are skipping the intro to get to the video and if you're doing that then you're missing all the announcements and stuff like that so don't do that because i might say different things i don't know but um i'm sitting in front of you with no makeup on and looking kind of crazy i apologize for that i'm very busy my nails need to get done which will happen tomorrow the hair needs to be washed which will happen tomorrow I need to do my taxes for 2020, which was supposed to happen tomorrow, but I can't, I didn't get a chance to do it, so I have to wait till Saturday to do my taxes. So I'm a single dog mom and it's intense over here, okay? A lot of work, a lot of responsibilities. So I was watching uh, the first court hearing, OJ Simpson's on YouTube last night. And I was like, I wanted to just watch it because I wanted to just get the vibe for him and his legal team and the whole thing. Just kind of wanted to get a vibe for it and stuff. And I've never looked at this case psychically. So I'm super excited to take a look. And yeah, let's get into today's video. Okay, so I have a little summary here. Let's just talk about it. And then we're gonna do the reading on it. The uh, criminal trial in Los Angeles County Superior Court in which former National Football League NFL player, broadcaster, and actor O.J. Simpson was tried and acquitted for the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ronald Ron Goldman. The pair were stabbed to death outside Brown's condominium in Brentwood. The trial spanned 11 months from the jury's swearing in on November 9th, 1994. Opening statements were made on January 24th, 1995. And Simpson was acquitted of both counts of murder on October 3rd of that same year, which is 1995. The trial is often characterized as the trial of the century. After investigators found a blood-stained glove on his property, after he did not turn himself in at the agreed time, he became the object of a low-speed pursuit in a white 1903 Ford Bronco. On the evening of June 12, 1984, Brown and Simpson both attended their daughter Sydney's dance recital at Paul Revere Middle School. Afterwards, Brown and her family went to eat at blah 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 restaurant. They did not invite Simpson to join them. One of the waiters at the restaurant was Ron Goldman, who had become close friends with Brown and in recent weeks, but was not assigned to Brown's family table. Brown and her children then went to Ben and Jerry's before returning to Brown's condominium. Around 10.55 p.m., a dog walker who lived a few blocks away came across Brown's Akita dog barking in the street outside her home. The Akita, whose legs were covered in blood, followed the man home. He tried to walk the dog back to where he found it, but the dog resisted. Later on, he left the Akita with a neighborhood couple who offered to keep the dog overnight as the dog was agitated. The couple decided to walk it back to where it had been found 
Around midnight, as they reached the area where the Ikita had been found, the dog stopped outside Brown's home and the couple saw Brown's body lying outside the house. Brown's body was lying face down and barefoot at the bottom of the stairs leading to the door. The walkway leading to the stairs was covered in blood, but the soles of Brown's feet were clean. Based on this evidence, investigators concluded that she was the first person to be killed and the intended target. She had been stabbed multiple times in the head and neck, but there were few defensive wounds on her hands, implying a short struggle to investigators. The assailant returned to Brown's body, stood on her back, pulled her head back by the hair and slit her throat. Brown's head barely remained attached to her body. Wow, I never knew that. So she was almost decapitated. I looked up O.J. Simpson and guess what, you guys? He's a water sign. He's, he's a cancer. July 3rd or July 4th or something like that. So let's sage ourselves a little bit and let's just get to it. Let's see what the hell is going on. I have never looked at O.J. Simpson before. I have never looked at him psychically. I never cared to. And now that I'm on this kick of true crime, I thought it would be appropriate to talk about one of the most famous, famous, famous crimes of a century. Someone said something the other day on one of my videos and she was like, you're reading the cards. That's not remote viewing. Um, being psychic, being a medium, doing remote viewing, it's all the same thing. It says us, it's, I'm using all these tools to see uh, to see the truth. So I'm sorry if you're going to some channels and they're just sitting there and telling you something that they have no idea what they're talking about. All right, so OJ Simpson and Nicole Brown. OJ Simpson and Nicole Brown. OJ Simpson and Nicole Brown. Wow, Nicole Brown was almost decapitated. So OJ Simpson and Nicole Brown, O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown. O.J. Simpson and Nicole Brown. Has there been, can you guys comment down below if there has been any updates? Like he never got arrested, right? Like he never, he was acquitted. He didn't have to pay for anything or right. Was there a civil, civil lawsuit by her parents, by Nicole Brown? Um, So many people. So we want to just see what spirit wants to show us. So we have the moon card. We have the moon card and the moon card suggests secrets. The moon card suggests secrets. Uh, things that are hidden from the public that the truth still has not been revealed. We have the two of swords next to it, which is the two people that were murdered, which is very ironic. So the moon card and the two of swords coming together. So the two murders that occurred in Brentwood, California, there's, there's still secrecy about this. There's still secrecy about this case. And although he was acquitted, legal disclaimer, the city was for entertainment purposes only, uh, but... You know he was acquitted right and we have something in the law called double jeopardy you can't be tried for the same crime once you're acquitted you're acquitted and you're done but there is apparently still hidden uh things and and secrets in regards to the two murders and so the public doesn't know it was hidden it's been hidden um, so I don't know what Nicole Brown's astrological sign is, but I know I looked up OJ last night and he's a cancer. She's coming across as very fiery, very passionate, loved her family, loved OJ. Um, OJ was a, OJ was a player. OJ had, was a player. He had a lot of options. 
So OJ is coming across to me that he was a type of guy that thought, although I'm married and I have kids, I'm a football player, actor, whatever he was, and if I want to go screw around on my wife, it's okay because I'm a man. One of those things. He's, he's, he's a male chauvinist. One of those things like, I'm a man. So it's like, it's in our DNA. Men are, it's just like in your, men say all the time, it's in our DNA. It's, it's this biological genetic thing that we're just supposed to be running around spreading our seeds to, you know, have babies with everybody because that's how the planet grew. And I understand that maybe like 10,000 years ago, but right now it doesn't really, please don't have children if you can because we're overpopulated, you know what I mean? The planet is dying. And especially if, you, if you're like crazy and have issues, just don't have kids. You're gonna pass it down genetically to your, to your kids. If you have addictions or you're crazy or you have mental health problems or you just you have problems or you're poor, all that, just like don't have kids. Get a pet, it's so much easier, right? So he's coming across as a kind of person that was like, you know, if I go and screw around on my wife, it's okay. But she's not allowed to touch anybody, talk to anybody. She belongs to me. We have the Nine of Swords, which kind of, the vibe that I'm getting from this is that OJ Simpson is still haunted by the events. Now, I still haven't gotten into, is he the one that actually did this? Or did he, did he hire somebody to kill his wife? Because it's very possible that OJ Simpson actually hired someone, like actually like a killer. Like he actually could have hired a professional wife killer. You know what I mean? To, to go and kill her. And then the guy, the waiter guy was there. And I think that, he, I don't think anybody else was supposed to die other than Nicole. And, and the guy from the restaurant, the waiter guy, the Ron, this, this, this guy, maybe she was having sex with him or something, right? And he just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and then he got whacked too. Anything else Spirit wants to show, show me? You guys let me know down below if any other psychic medium on YouTube has done this case, has looked at this case or not. But I think that Nicole was pregnant, like very, very early, early, early pregnancy. That's what I just got. And it was not by OJ Simpson. So the devil. So the devil indicates that there was abuse in their relationship abuse in the marriage, in the relationship, passive aggressive, uh, cycle of I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, fighting, making up, fighting, making up, etc. Very toxic, uh, very um, dysfunctional, uh, addictive, Addictive personalities. I don't know if OJ, I don't know if this addiction that's coming up is OJ or Nicole. The fact that the, the devil card is next to the girl, I'm going to go with saying that Nicole was the one that was addicted. She was addicted to something. Maybe she was addicted to drugs or she was ad addicted to, oh, she was addicted to love, romance, sex. Yeah. So she was a very active, sexually active woman. And OJ Simpson wasn't cool, cool with that. Like, I think they were divorced at that time and they were raising their kids together and stuff, but they were trying to co-parent and all of that, right? But I don't think he was happy about men, different men coming to the house. Uh and having sex with his ex-wife in front of in front of his kids. Like, I don't I don't know how old the kids were, but if Nicole Brown was entertaining all these men, because it's showing that she kind of had a, she kind of had like a sexual addiction. I don't know if there was drugs involved, 
but I'm definitely seeing sex, sex addiction. So the devil card came out next to her, and then I also got the lover's card. So to me, what this is screaming is that she loved having a good time. Around that time, cocaine was a huge drug that a lot of celebrities and fam famous people indulged in. It was very expensive. I don't know, I've never done it before. I don't know, but I think it's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars to just to get like a little bit of coke to like put up your nose. So I'm getting from her that somebody drank a lot. I don't know if it was her. There was a lot of sex. There was a lot of lovers. She had a lot of lovers. A lot of people came through her house. Uh, her wish was fulfilled, meaning like she knew she was always gonna be taken care of by OJ Simpson financially. She knew that she was gonna always be, be taken because she had his, you know, his children. The Nine of Cups, uh, I'm gonna use these cards to clarify the devil, the lovers, and the Two of Cups here. Nicole Simpson and OJ Simpson's relationship. You guys, she was pregnant. I just saw the Empress card here. She was pregnant when she died. She was pregnant. She was pregnant like early stages. So, Spirit, the Lover's card. Yeah, so Nicole had a good time. And she was beautiful. She stood out. She was a star. Uh, very charismatic. Great personality. Fun girl. And, oof, we have the Death card right next to her. So, wow. Okay, so, I, okay, I just got the download. All right. I just got the download, so it's coming. It's coming, Spirit is telling me. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna to try to edit it down if I'm, you know, spacing out and stuff like that so you guys won't get bored. But sometimes I have to kind of pause and see what's coming to me. There is something that I've noticed covering these cases lately that uh, when these men kill their wives or girlfriends or whatever, there's something about the fact that it bothers them that their girlfriend or their wife shines. So O.J. Simpson wanted to take away Nicole Brown's shine. Like she stood out and he wanted to dim that light. Does that make any sense to you? Do you guys what I'm saying right now? I look so insane, but you know, I'm pretty, you guys, right? Just tell me in the top. Just in the comment box down below, just say, yeah, Ali, you're pretty. You don't need anything. You look good. You look good. Um, so I don't get like, you know, as I'm, when I edit this video, I'm going to be like mortified. But anyways, there's something that I'm noticing, honestly, that I feel like certain women, certain men, there is this light to them. They stand out. They shine. They're like, a, they're, they're, that's why it's called being a star, a movie star, a rock star, right? So some of these women, you know, or men that are killed and murdered like this by their loved ones, they shine really bright. And their significant other is not too happy about that. They don't want to see them shine. So they dim their light. So here they're over here shining brightly like a star. Shining brightly like a star. Star right here. Does this say star on it? Okay, well, this one doesn't say star, but this card is a star. So shining brightly like a star, and then they want to dim that light. They want to dim that light. So that's what I just got. I wanted to get clarification about why I have the devil, uh, two of cups, and the lover's card. So these three cards are telling me so much, you guys. Um, these three cards are speaking volumes to me. There's so much in this, in these three cards that I don't, I don't even know what to say. There's so much information in the, in these three cards. Addiction, um, sex, lust, uh, obsession, um, cheating, multiple partners, cheating on each other, toxicity, um, jealousy, 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 jealousy. P they're re like absolutely 100%, 1000% jealousy. 
something about the fact that Nicole was this beautiful woman who had these beautiful kids with O.J. Simpson. And O.J. Simpson did not want his wife to be this shining star. And she loved to party. She was sexy. And he could be over there sleeping around with a bunch of women, but he did not want his wife or ex-wife to be behaving the same way. It really bothered him. It upset him. He didn't want these men to come and go at his house where he's paying the mortgage. Does that make sense? I'm not taking his side. Disclaimer, I'm not taking OJ Simpson's side. I'm just saying, I'm reading his energy. I'm reading his energy and his energy is showing me that those are the things that were bothering him. He did not want Nicole Brown, his ex-wife, to be sleeping around. He did not want her to have multiple sexual partners. He did not want these men to come through the house for his kids to see it. He did not want to be paying for her life and her addiction and her cocaine habit, perhaps. Uh, while he wasn't living there, wasn't with her, and then these men were just coming and going and having sex with his ex-wife when the kids were in bed sleeping. So that's his energy, okay? So now let me look at Nicole's energy and see what Nicole wants to say to us. Okay. Nicole Brown. Nicole Brown. Nicole Brown. How am I going to say this? O.J. Simpson came out, King of Cups, which is Cancer. He's a Cancer sign. Next to him is a Page of Swords. And then next to that is a Strength card. What I'm picking up from Nicole's energy is that... Oh my fucking God. I'm looking at this card and there are two birds on this guy's sword. I think OJ Simpson hired somebody to kill because OJ Simpson is next to this card and there's two birds on this guy's swords. So this is a page of swords. This is a younger guy. There's two birds on his sword. Do you guys see? Page of swords. I think that a younger male, a younger male was hired by OJ Simpson, King of, King of Cups, which is cancer, to murder Nicole Brown. Was Nicole a Leo? Was Nicole a, a Leo? Do you know what I'm picking up from this card, the strength card, which has nothing to do with the meaning of it? What I'm picking up from it is that this whole time he was married to this beast. O.J. Simpson was a beast. And she was just like living her life, you know? And this whole time, she was walking around with this beast next to her, which is O.J. Simpson. That's what's being communicated to me, that she was walking around with this lion, this beast next to her. And she thought she had it figured out because she has this chain around this lion. There's a chain around this lion, and she's holding on to the, to the, to the chain, like as if it's like, you know, like a... Like, like a leash, right? She thought she had this beast under control because I think that um, O.J. Simpson, well, they had the domestic violence and stuff like that. I did hear a little bit of that that was recorded by the police that he was trying to 
you know, he was kicking the door in and she was calling 911 and stuff like that. So she, he had a bad temper, temper, but something, something in, something would, okay, how am I, I can't even get this out right now. Okay, so this is, it's so weird when I do readings like this because I literally can't even talk. So Nicole Brown thought, since she's the wife, she's the ex-wife of OJ Simpson, and she has OJ Simpson's kids, although she has this beast in her life, which is OJ Simpson, that she's kind of, ah, uh, what's the word? She's uh, immune to it. She's immune to it because she's the mother of his children. She's known him for a long time. They were married, they have these children. So this whole time she was walking around metaphorically with a bomb next to her. She was associating with a beast that she thought she had control over. So the, the, the chain around this lion and that her holding the chain gives me the indication that she thought she was safe. She thought she was safe and she's like, I don't have to worry about anything. I know OJ is crazy. I know that OJ might have a bad temper, but I'm okay. I, I'm the mother of his children. He would never hurt me. Maybe he would slap me or break some things or slash my tire or get pissed off that I fuck these like young waiter guys from restaurants. It's almost like when I was reading that to you guys, it's almost like she went to this restaurant and she went to this restaurant. There was like this hot waiter guy working there and she was like, come over. I mean, that's kind of gross. You know what I mean? But I mean, she was young and hot. So what do you want? And I think he was like really, really bothered by that, that his fucking ex-wife was running around sleeping with waiters. Like what? Um, he loved her. OJ loved her very much. And because of what I see in regards to how much he loved her, although he had a lot of, he had a lot of options, he loved her. He loved her very much. And I don't know if it was healthy love. Maybe it was, it was obsession. But he loved her very much. I think for me, you guys, I'm going to stop the reading here right now because this is so amazing right now, you guys. I think that OJ Simpson, he's right here, hired somebody that killed Nicole Brown and, Go and, and what's his name? Ron Goldman. And the two birds on this guy's swords and him staring like he's a serial killer. You guys see his expression? So he hired somebody and that's Nicole. Nicole thought that he was, she was safe, but she was not safe. The beast ended up getting her. I think that, I think that O.J. Simpson hired somebody to kill her. And then Ron Goldman was there at the wrong time at the wrong place. I don't think it was intended for him to die. It was just like he was there. And that's what's coming to me. And I'm going to stick to that because I think that was pretty amazing. That was a pretty amazing read. I hope you guys like this reading. Let me know your thoughts down below. Am I crazy? Am I correct? I don't know. This is something that happened, what, 20 years ago? Long, longer than that. I'm so bad at math. So 1995, 27 years ago. This happened 27 years ago. Again, I don't know if there's any updates on this. Uh, I don't know if he's confessed or I don't know. I don't know anything. You guys seem to know a lot about these cases. So if anyone has any updates about this and understands what I'm saying, please comment down below. And disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I don't have any factual evidence. I don't know OJ Simpson or Nicole Brown or her or, her, or Ron Goldman or any of these people. This was just my psychic opinion, psychic uh, opinion and my, my own personal thoughts. Anyways, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please subscribe, share, and like. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out my videos and give this video a thumbs up. 
It helps me out a lot because YouTube will promote it and will grow the channel and get more subscribers and viewers. If you guys are interested in my products, go to LDRKidCosmetics.com. If you guys want to book a session with me, go to LDRKid.com. Love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye.